Hey, it's Tyler from Brad Agritech, and in this video, I want to show you the assembly process of your brand new Zip Girl farm wall, and we're going to walk you through all the assembly right up until you have to mount it, and then we'll have a new video that covers everything for mounting. All right, so we're going to cover what should come in your box when your farm wall arrives, the tools that you're going to need to assemble it, and then the assembly order goes as follows. First, we're gonna attach our clips to our header and our gutter, and then we're gonna insert our PVC and bow ties, seal on our gutter end caps, and then we are going to put our irrigation in our header, which consists of zip tie and this poly tubing up there, putting the pyramid caps on, and that should lead us right into mounting. Today we're going to be working with a four tower farm wall. Now depending if you bought a four tower farm wall or an eight tower farm wall, there's going to be a couple parts that are going to be different. But you should have a header and a gutter. The header is going to have holes in the top for our zip ties to go through, as well as this nice round hole in the bottom. It's really a characteristic that separates it from the gutter. From there you're going to have a bag of hardware and our clips. You should have four clips no matter what size of farm wall you bought. If you bought a four tower farm wall, you're going to have two wall channels. With an eight tower farm wall, you're going to have four wall channels. Same thing with the bow ties. Two bow ties for a four tower farm wall, four for an eight tower. One PVC length cut to fit. A four tower farm wall comes with one rubber bumper. An eight tower farm wall is going to come with two. You're going to have two pyramid caps for your header and two gutter end caps for your gutter. That's what we've done you're going to have one piece of poly tubing with nothing on it that's cut to fit for whatever size of tower that you bought with your farm walls, as well as one more piece of tubing with drip emitters and a 90 degree elbow attached to it. You're going to have a pump in there, and depending if this is your first order or not, you may have adhesive to seal on your end caps. Now, we don't ship these with every farm wall. Right now, at the time of making this video, we are shipping these one per order of farm walls. The tool that you're going to need for this, or for this initial assembly anyways, it's just going to be a crescent wrench to tighten down the hardware for the clips that are going to mount to our headers and our gutters, and then some scissors to trim some zip ties. So our first step is to attach these clips to our gutters and our headers. Both the header and the gutter have two sets of three holes in the back, and that's where our clips are going to mount to. Our clips are slightly bent, and what we want to do is we want to orient them the holes up against our gutter so that way the bend or it bends away from the gutter as the clip goes down and we'll get close shots of this so you guys can see that from there we're gonna take our bolts nuts and washers and we're gonna put a bolt from the outside to the inside and then attach it using a nut and washer on the inside of the gutter all right so our header and our gutter now have our clips attached to them they are oriented with the holes up and then the washers and the nuts are on the inside and I tighten them down with a crescent wrench our four tower header is different from our eight tower in one way. This is so light that it can easily be knocked off the mounting channels. What we've done is we have an extra hole here and here. We place a bolt just like we did these without the clips in it. So we bolt them, washers and nuts go on the inside. And what that's gonna allow us to do is slide our header onto our mounting channel instead of just hanging it there. And that will keep our header in place and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Cool. Okay, now that that's done, what we can do is we can set our header aside and just focus on our gutter. What we're going to do is insert our PVC and our bow ties. And you'll have four bow ties for an eight tower farm wall, but only two for a two tower farm wall. And I probably should have mentioned this before we even start this assembly process, wear gloves. We have some edges on here, and if you hit them the wrong way, you can get nicks and you can get cuts in your hands. I just forgot mine. But if there's one time where you wanted to use gloves when you're assembling your farm wall, it would be now. It's really important that you orient, orient these bow ties properly. What you want to do is you want the PVC to sit as high off the gutter as possible, because that's where our towers are going to rest on. Our towers don't rest in the bottom of the gutter, they rest on top of this PVC. And so, this is the proper orientation of our bow ties, and then this one is now in the wrong orientation. So both of them should look like this, not like this. Long, right. With a four tower farm wall, there's going to be two places where we're, it's really easy to distinguish where you should put your bow ties. And so we're going to set one here and one here. 
and then we'll push our PVC pipe through. We have always found it easier to place our boat ties first and then insert the PVC. All right, so our PVC and our bow ties have been placed in here. You can tell that I've put the bow ties underneath these solid patches so our towers don't rest on them. On the eight tower farm wall, I believe there's one or two of the bow ties that you have to put underneath these really thin dividers. Really not a problem, but sometimes they move around. And if you notice your tower's not sitting in there all the way, check your bow ties. This rectangular hole is where your pump sits. So there should the PVC shouldn't extend into that hole. It should be nearly flush with the end of this side and then not extruded to this for your pump to sit in. After that is ready or set, these bolts are tightened down. What we're ready to do is put on our end caps. And these are our end caps. These are our pyramid caps. These go on the header. These are for the gutter. I like to take the tip of whatever adhesive that we're using and kind of bury it in that groove and make a good bead all the way around and maybe a little bit extra in the corners. After I fill this, that groove up, I'm gonna press it onto my gutters, do the other one just the same, and then let that sit and dry completely. Usually, it's gonna take a couple hours or whatever the adhesive says in the back of the tube. Follow the directions, let it dry completely before you put any water or anything in your gutters because we don't want any leaks. Our bottom gutter is drying, or at least the end caps are drying to the gutter right now. We're going to focus on our top header. What we want to do now is we want to install the poly tubing with the button drippers into our header and this is going to be the final step in our assembly process before we move on to mounting. The elbow is going to live in this side of the header and what we'll do is we'll make sure that each dripper is oriented over each tower slot. Zip tie it in using the holes on top here. Okay, one last step I kind of forgot. We seal the end of this poly by folding it back on itself and then zip tying it closed. There's one set of holes that's gonna be near the edge of the header and you're gonna use that to seal this. And once that's done, we're ready to mount our farm wall. And once it's mounted, we'll attach this poly and the pump and everything else together. Oh, but after we install these, we can put on our pyramid caps. These caps, you don't have to glue, they just snap on. All right guys, that wraps up the assembly process for our zip drill farm wall. It's not fully assembled because that only happens after it's been mounted. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about mounting. But if there was anything that you need more clarification on in this video, just let us know with a comment or email us. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.